So hello again everybody. Um, just a short video on this little uh, mesh-tastic node over here um, with a um, Haltech paper or uh, e-ink display. This was probably the easiest build I've, I've built so far. Um, it was much harder printing the case and, and <laughs> getting, uh, you know, uh, um, than, than actually setting this up. Since the paper doesn't have any I.O. ports, you can really just connect it. You connect the battery and you connect the um, SMA and put the antenna on. And, um, you know, obviously you can put different antennas on here. Um, very nice little uh, node. Um, it's pretty power efficient, but, you know, it has a S3, uh, ESP32 S3 inside, which means it is pretty power hungry. I'll put some images here where you'll see, um, you know, the inside of this guy. You can see the, the, you know, the paper white itself. It's just a board with four little screws. You screw it in. You connect uh, SMA pigtail and and the antenna on top of that and then uh, I've got a 200 a uh, 2000 milliamp hour battery in there um, and you know it, it lasts quite a while it definitely is less uh, uh, it uses less power than the standard Haltech but um, you know as you can see then here um, this is the unit um, with the SMA coming out the case, I, I really love this case. This was really a nice case to print. The hardest part was these buttons. Who, I'm not the greatest printer and they kept breaking off. So in the end, I decided to print this middle piece out of TPU. So this is actually quite flexible. I made a little bit thicker at the top so that the SMA isn't loose. But, uh, you know, um, so now the buttons work great. Um, this case, I, I'll put a link to this case in the in the comments, but um, or in the description down, down the bottom. But um, you know, um, it's got a little accent, so you can print a little red insert. So it really is the front, the the frame, and the back, and and you saw the battery inside. So what's nice about these, as you can see at the moment, it says um, sleeping. It's busy sleeping. You can see the version number there, and it's got the mesh tastic. And as you know, an e-ink display, if you turn it off, it actually stays on the screen, and it can stay like that for, for a long time without actually taking any battery power. So if I turn it on, and I'll hit the, one of the buttons over here, but one's the function button, and the other one's the, the reset, you'll see that it flashes. It says resuming, and... Um, and there it is. It comes up, it flashes quite a bit as it refreshes the screen. And there you can see the node, standard stuff. I can press the this button down the side over here, the, the function button to scroll through. You can see there's the C tracker. We can see uh, there's no GPS or anything else. There's no pins for that on this board that I could find. Maybe they are, but I couldn't find. It shows the battery level. Really is nice if you double hit the, the um, function button, you'll see that it um, sends the note info. You can only do that at the moment every five minutes. But, um, you know, it would discover other nodes. Um, very nice. This is then also connected via the, um, the app. Um, and I'll connect to it quickly here. I, um, this node specifically is the... VP node, a paper node, and we'll connect to that and we'll see that there it is. It's picked up all the nodes it has, this of paper. We can see it works just like any other node, um, mesh-tastic node. Very nice, very compact, especially if you put the, the smaller uh, antenna on, you can just stick it in your pocket. And, um, you know, so if I were to Let's just ping my uh, my solar node. I'm just going to trace route to that. And we can see that, you know, pretty decent 
uh, 7.5 dB from this to my uh, solar node. Um, and yeah, uh, so just wanted to show you that really cool little uh, display. I love this display. I love it. It is that, um, you know, it doesn't use that much power. In a few minutes, it will go to sleep. It will actually put the display to sleep and then it won't take any power. Um, and uh, well, except for the, you know, the processor, but the screen won't take any power. So uh, that's a little um, uh, e-ink or paper display. Um, these are available. You can, you can find them on the website and I'll put some links to them. They're really cheap and they're very easy and quick to build. It's really, like I said, connecting two things, connecting the, the, um, the power of a battery and connecting the, the, the SMA cable, four screws, and you're done. Very easy and simple node to build. And you can, uh, you, you know, use the mobile app to communicate. So thank you. Thanks for uh, joining me today.